gra gra boom. Big energy. Big energy. Big energy. Big energy. Hmm? Meet the new fresh fit. I don't like this term, big dick energy. Or small dick energy. Because everyone's about body positivity, right? How are we going to talk about men who have desirable characters? Characteristics have big dicks, and men who have undesirable characteristics have small penises. There are some oh, wonderful some men with small penises. Who are we talking about? Nigga, what? I'm about to get out of here. I'm about to get out of here. <laughs> I'm about to get out of here. And some terrible men with big dicks. Women can willy nilly throw out big dick energy, <laughs> small dick energy. Yo, my nigga, we, can we get past this? Pause. This is wild freaky. We're not 30 seconds into the video. Niggas is talking about wild Franks. Pause. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Everybody in here is, is living lawless. Y'all need all y'all niggas is pissing me off. Son talking about whatever the undesirables pause. I don't even care. If I started throwing out loose pussy energy. As She's tight. I ain't going to lie. Let's go back. She heard that shit and she got tight. Loose pussy energy she is tight um i thought an avatar as soon as i look at it am i bugging is that a fair assumption as a term to Yo, describe someone that was undesirable in some way i would get canceled but loose pussy energy bro you get in trouble you say that shit there's other terms to use. She's like, nah, nah. <laughs> cavernous vag energy. What? What do you say? I don't know. I don't know, but low key, that's that's small dick energy. Right? <laughs> hey, yo. A nigga caring about that term to that extent. Yeah, I don't even know what we're talking about. That's small. Yeah, they do. They yeah, are. Right now, just talk about. Oh, because that's that's a great example of nigga. You just chatting right now, boy. They just they just talking, and you was like, I'm gonna just one up you and just chat. Better than you. <laughs> Chat more than you. Fuck better. Niggas just He's sat right, there though. for like. He's right, but like, who cares though? Like, I don't, it doesn't I really, matter. I really right. don't yeah. give a fuck, bro. You just come across as you come across ironically as a nigga with a small dick when you go. <laughs> Pause, my like, nigga. What are we? Why are you how do you know that? Really proving his point. So that's small dick energy. Bro. I mean, I, that's definitely what it is, but he's it also is. right. No, he's right. No, no. Can you imagine right. if I was like, yeah, bro, you got no, you got flat chest energy. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Lord Disick. Nearly every person that comes into my home comments about how amazing it smells. I think, like, the biggest thing that, like, annoys me in, like, the whole dating world is, like, fucking talking stages. Like, that shit's so annoying. Like, the whole, like, and just, like, the inconsistency in them. Like, I literally, like, hate that, like, so much. But I think that's, like, my biggest thing. It's just, like... What, what specifically? Just, like, the fact of just, like, you, like... I don't know how to word this. Like in like talking stages and just nah. people, like, labeled that and it's like people like, <laughs> The hundred and twenty one count is crazy. Are considered like you can't like you're just like confused and like like most of the time. Nah, that shit is annoying. It's like attached or something. Like, that just, like, shit is annoying, bro. I can't do that play man. Yeah, basically. Dating does not exist in this generation. What? Basically, what? The reason why you're in infinite talking stages is because you look good, so they'll talk to you. But then they realize you're dumb. This. Like, in my talking stages, and it's just like you're like labeled that. And <laughs> nah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I, I could kind of agree. Sometimes, you feel me? That's why I started realizing early on, like a couple of years back, bro. You kind of gotta. Personally, I gotta. I, I, I started sacrificing looks a little bit, bro. And I feel like it's not the women's fault. To a degree, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's the parents' fault. Like, all right, so boom, like, not really. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. I'm gonna try me. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to make this real short. So, if you're pretty, you're gonna niggas are gonna approach you. Niggas are gonna talk to you. But if you don't have any substance about you, if you don't have any life experience, if you don't have anything to offer, like nothing to bring to the table, none of that talk. Just literally like substance. Like, are you funny? Charismatic? Like. Hobbies like can you hold a conversation? If you walk in a room, uh, you know what I'm saying. It's just it's just certain things about you and certain attributes that, as a, as a pretty woman, sometimes people overlook because you're initially pretty. But then once they find out like you're lacking in so many of these other avenues, 
uh, they kind of like you know, always. That's when you turn into oh, all oh, men ain't shit. Uh, but it's the whole time, whole time they're not even letting you know. Like, yo, listen, because look, how does that sound? You sound like a fucking dickhead. Yo, yeah, you pretty and all that, but look, you don't got no substance about you. There's nothing about you that would 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 further me and sustain me to st- stick around past, let's say, a, a sexual encounter or some other shit like that. You feel me? And again, I feel like it's not really the women's fault because niggas kind of lead with that. Like, they just think what they, you feel me? With the, the peace pipe, pause. So, y'all leading women down this path of thinking like there's going to be something or that uh, uh, you see something further, but the whole time, you just something pretty that you want to, cl- you know what I'm saying? You want to clip me, you find out like, yeah, she's not even, she's not even like really like what I'm into. She really can't keep like, you know what I'm saying? Can't hold it down. Ah, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just poke, and then I'm out. So there's that. I I said it with the parents' fault a little bit because it's kind of like not really, but it's kind of like damn, you didn't like I don't know introduce them to different things or like I don't I don't fucking know. I don't know. It's like people like are considered. Maybe like, it's just your personality. I just fuck did she say, money. bro? Are you didn't hear? No, I heard her, she but like she didn't like, say anything though. Like how like um if you just think about it like with just infinite like. Bro, shut the fuck. Up. Shut up. Shut I know. I know. Yeah, we I know got exactly we we got it. Too. I know. Okay, it's a specific area of L.A. where they all they. Okay, so it was reason. I wasn't, but I didn't know how to word it. But it's kind of like, look, see, you got me saying that's it's. it's that's what it Same is, bro. is the word like because they're mad. It's a fucking filler word. The problem with these podcasts <laughs> is that they like they bring on the specific part. type of women. No, like I'm just okay, talking. That's about, true. That's they true. just they just bring on so like yeah. trying to have intelligent conversations with like low IQ type of people and then mocking them, even though those are the people that you specifically pick out. Yeah, it's for reasons. It's for shock value and, and it's for it's for even more inter- inter- even entertainment. Even if I were to entertain the combo that she's trying to have right now, but like, the reason why traditional dating doesn't exist anymore is because people are not traditional. You don't want traditional roles yourself. You don't want to be a traditional woman. You don't. If any young women are watching, please do not model your lifestyle after her. Thank Holy shit. <laughs> yo, why he just... Yo, me and, me and my son, <laughs> agent on the same page. Why is he wigging? That's um, from the Christian man. Yes, I'm looking out for you young ladies. If you I'm ever, not judging if you. you ever, that's fine, but if you ever want to get married... That's fine. And that's another thing that's wrong with the Christian, with the with Christian people, bro. They're so quick to say don't judge people and all that, and then turn around and do some shit like that, bro. Come on, son. There's a Probably lot of young girls out there who want to get married someday. If pictures of yourself doing sexual things are all over the internet, your husband and your kids will not appreciate that. What are your kids going to think of this? There's I think Northwest is doing just asshole. fine. No- Northwest? Yeah, she's living oh, her yeah. life. Kanye's. Yeah, she's doing great with her mom. I mean, given the option between a mom who has porn on the internet versus one who doesn't have porn on the internet, I would prefer if all of my friends couldn't see my mom fucking other dudes and sucking their dicks. I still no consider myself a Christian. Hot, I still consider myself... Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? I'm a Christian. Yeah. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins, and I'm not a fucking... I hate the way she talks. I hate when people talk like that. Like, it's kind of like pacify, baby talk. The shit is mad, like, cringy, bro. Like, I can't have a comment. Like, my son Michael was in the was, was in the interview where they was recording. He was like, bro, I hate your voice. And that's how I feel right now, son. Judgmental person like you. Like, I don't give a fuck about her, her sexual preference or her past and shit like that. But the way he talks pissed me off. I'm so serious. Why are they there? Like, you why? know why they're like, there, I, nigga. First of all, doing an hour and a half with her talking, I wouldn't be able to do it. Like, you feel me? I thought it was just me. I thought it was just me, bro. I can't listen to that. This shit is mad annoying. I gotta go. I have to go. I have to go because I cannot listen to her talk. Well, I just, I genuinely want to know what do people gain from this. First of all, bro, let me read, take it all the way back. Nigga, this is just a white version of Fresh and Fit, bro. That's all I'm saying. That's a good way to put it. Mm. I was just saying. This is literally the gentrified version of Fresh and but Fit. I've seen some similarities, Marcel. And it's literally, first of all, this girl right here is like a bot. Literally. No, no, she, that is, she's a bot. She's a bot, bro. She's a bot. And then y'all are just doing y'all best version of the exact same thing that already exists. It then go on the internet and be like, damn, this generation is so stupid. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, bro. Hey, the whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment. And I didn't, really, I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart. Yikes. And... <laughs>
Holy shit. <laughs> it was fun. So did you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. I hope I did a little damage. Wow. Okay. Why do you hope that you did a little damage? Just, I like humbling men. You like humbling men? Yeah. It's like my pastime. Your pastime is humbling men. Mm -hmm. You do work at a strip club, so. Do you humble men there? No, I take their money. Hey, do you ever walk into a room and completely forget why you're there? Yeah. Yeah, men get humbled every day, all the time. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't even want to say that, but come on. Non-stop. It's not their friends, it's their family, it's not their family, it's society, not society, it's their peers. Like, you don't need to do it. She probably just got her heart broken once and she yeah. just became the devil. So you just turn the fuck on men every single time. There's so many people that prescribe to that mentality now. Yeah, you want me to men. explain why men care about body count? <laughs> I, I got it. I haven't told you the reasons why you men care about it. it okay. What well, mansplain? You. That's yeah. kind of a sexist thing to say. Damn. <laughs> Yo, this nigga is on B T, bro. B fucking T, bro. My fault. He is on B T. What the fuck? Let me just hold on. Using You'll their words against us. Sexist to say mansplain. You're literally a white man looking at me, telling me like, what? if you can't boy? see how you being a white man has anything to do with like the power you have in conversation, then what? I don't even want to like talk about that. What does my skin anyway, color? I don't want to. I don't want to make it. What What does my skin color have to do with <laughs> this conversation? We're talking about nothing. body count. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. But okay, don't. But you don't you think it? Don't you count. think it's a bit racist? to bring up skin color in a conversation, a dating-related conversation? I'm just gonna ignore your comment. Ugh. You said it, so I'm trying That just made me feel weird. All right, yeah, we out. I don't... <coughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm out of here. Niggas just... I'm mad confused. Mad confused, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> what?